Hi everyone, welcome to this video. And for today's topic, I will be discussing with you about net electric force of three charges using Coulomb's law. Now, I have here one example with one figure wherein we can use the formula of the Coulomb's law. Given the figure, find the net electric force acting on object B. This is our illustration. We have object A, object B, and object A. C. Object A has a net has a charge of negative six pico coulomb. This pico coulomb is, or can can be written as negative six. Sulat natin. Negative six. Since pico yan, that will become times ten raised to negative twelve. Okay. Then. Itong 4 coulombs, since wala naman na siyang uh, suffix, or I mean prefix, just copy. 4 coulombs. Okay, lahat yan unit ng coulombs. Then itong negative 5 nano coulombs will become negative 5 times 10 raised to negative 9 na lang kasi nano yan. Then coulomb. Okay, take note that this is a negatively charged object. This one is positively charged kasi positive yung charge niya. Then this one is also negatively charged. Ang aalamin natin dito is the net electric force. Whenever you see this word yung net, ibig sabihin, you have to get the total. Total ng force na nararamdaman ni point of reference natin. So object B. Okay? Acting on object B. So ano daw yung nararamdaman ni object B na force? towards C and towards A. Then, i-add natin dalawa for the, net, for the electric force. Now, kung pagbabasihan mo natin si A at B, since ito ay negative, ito ay positive, sabi natin, opposite the tracks, ibig sabihin, yung force na mararamdaman ni B ay pointing in this direction. That is the force of B A. Okay? Force BA. Ngayon, kung pagbabasayan natin si B at C, ano naman yung force na mararamdaman ni B towards C? Since ito ay positive, ito ay negative, uh, opposite attracts ulit, si B naman, ang, direct, ang mararamdaman niyang force towards C ay papunta doon. Kasi opposite attracts. Kung ito ay pagbabasihan si B at C, mag, ang sila attractive with each other, so yung force naman na mararamdaman ni B, towards si ay pa ganun, pa, pa kanan. So, yan yung, yan tawag natin force B C. Okay, ngayon, alamin natin yung value. Force B A muna tayo. Gamit tayo ng formula, electric force equals K Q1 Q2 divided by R squared. Take note that K is a Coulomb's constant that has a constant value of 8.988 times 10 raised to positive 9 Newton meter squared per Coulomb squared. Q1 and Q2, ito yung dalawang charges na involved na gagamitin natin. Then, R is the distance. So, kunin mo na natin yung force ni A at B. Okay? So, dito, compute natin. Let's have the first one. I force BA muna tayo. Copy Coulomb's constant, 8.988 times 10 raised to 9. Multiply to, yun naman natin, Q1. I mean yung ito, first charge natin. So, pwedeng ito, yung A, or pwede si B. It's up to you. So, kunin natin to Negative 6 times 10 raised to negative 12. Okay, then another Q2 naman, yung kay B naman, times 4. Okay, all over R squared. Yung distance from, since B A yung kinukuha natin, distance ni A from B. So that is 2 meters. Kailangan naka meters. Kung hindi, i-convert muna. So 2 meters, then raised to 2. Okay, we can just press this on our calculator. Nang sabay-sabay. Open at si Calcu. 
So that is 8.988 times 10 raised to 9. Huwag natin. Pero tayo maligay ng times and parentheses. Pwede. Or pwede rin namang wala na. Depende sa calculate nyo. Time, neg times negative 6 times 10 raised to negative 12. Oops. Baba muna, then close. Next is times 4 divided by yung 2 raised to 2 2 raised to 2 equals that is equal to negative 0 0.05 na lang. Okay? Negative 0 0.05 Newton. Ngayon, pagka nakuha natin yung force na ng BA, kailangan natin malaman kung yung sign na negative, yung, kung yung negative sign ba na ito ay final sign niya na. Kasi, di depende tayo sa magiging direction. Ganon pag 3 charges. Yung sign na ito will indicate the direction. Since kanina, yung force BA natin sa illustration, kailangan kasi ma-illustrate man natin. Ito, class, um, ito, yung force B, ay tignan yung direction, pointing to the left. Ibig sabihin, dapat negative yan. Kapag to the left, that is negative. Kapag to the right, positive. Eh, since naka-negative naman na to, ibig sabihin, this will be our final answer for the force of BA. Okay, let's proceed with, kapag, halimbawa, negative ang lumabas sa sagot, pero yung force na nakita natin sa illustration ay pointing to the right, yung, ne yung negative na yan, gagawin natin positive. Kasi dapat, pag to the right, gagawin natin positive. Kahit negative yung lumabas dito sa sagot na to. Now, let's proceed to getting the, the value of force of BC. So, to get that, of course, we will be using again the Coulomb's law. Of course, we need the Coulomb's constant. So, we have dito, 8.988 times 10 raised to positive 9. Then, open and close parenthesis natin. Times, this BC yan, gamitin natin yung value ni B. So, the value of B is 4 coulomb. Yung charge niya, I mean. Okay, yun natin gagawin yun. 4 coulomb, then times, yung isa pa, yung C naman ngayon, negative 5, times 10 raised to negative 9, all over... Ngayon ang hanapin natin is the distance between B and C. Gano'n sila kalahit sa isa't isa, that is 1 meter. So, 1 square. Then, let's just press it in our calculator to get the final answer. Actually, meron na tayo nito kami. Hindi ba pala? So, ilagay lang sa calculator lahat. So, we have 8.988 times 10 raised to positive 9. Then, baba natin, times 4, times uh, parenthesis, negative 5. Tignan ko na na parenthesis kasi negative to, times 10, raised to negative 9, kasi nanakulong yan. Then, baba natin, divided by 1 squared, 1, then squared. That is equal to, Negative 179.76. Negative 179.76. Then the unit must be Newton. Since it's 4. Okay. So we check lang natin yung value. Negative 179.76. That is the force BC. Now, since we already have the two, the two forces, i-check pala muna natin kung negative na ba yung magiging final um, final sign nito. So, since BC yan, tingnan natin yung illustration. This is BC. Ang direction ng force BC natin ay to the right. Ito. So, since to the right yan, ang sign must be positive. Eh, since naka-negative yan dito, we will make it positive. Okay? Kahit na negative yun dito, 
Eh kung ang sign na dapat na meron tayo ay positive, patuguyan natin. So magiging positive 179.76 Newton. That is force, final force DC. So we already have the two forces to get the net electric force. Dinot natin as F net. We will just add the two forces. So F dA, the force dA plus force dc that is equal to pagdan natin values negative 0.05 plus yung value natin kanina dc 179.76 pinag-add lang natin yung dalawa then press the calculator so meron tayo nito um, i-add na lang natin yung value natin oops nawala So, ang magiging value natin, ulitin na natin ha, negative 0.05, then plus 179.76. That is equal to, ulitin na natin, then magiging 179.76. Uh, okay, natin. 179.71 pala. Di pala 76. So, pagdala natin ito, that is 71. Then, the unit is still Newton kasi force pa rin naman yun. Net force na lang. Total ng dalawang forces. So, that is our F net. Okay? So that is the final answer for this example, the net electric force. Okay. This time we will be answering this question. Given the figure again, same figure tayo. Find the net electric force acting acting on object C. This time object C naman yung point of reference natin. So, para malaman natin yung net electric force acting on object C, i-analyze muna natin yung figure. Since si C ay negative the charge object, si B ay positively charged object, si A ay negative the charge object, so alamin natin yung magiging direction ng force. Of course, meron dalawang force. Si C may, marar may mararamdamang force with A, towards A. So, tingnan natin yung sign nila. Ito ay negative, negatively charged parehas. Sabi natin, pagka-opposite attracts, pagka-like repels. So, ngayon, since parehas negative tong dalawa, negative si C, negative si A, they will repel from each other. So, si object, C at A magre-repel, yung force ni C ay papunta don sa kanan palayo kay A. Kasi nga, hindi naman sila mag, magkaibang sign. Di ba? Opposite attracts lang. So, mag, magkaparehas sa sign. So, palayo sila sa isa't isa. Itong palayong, palayong force na is the force of C, si point of preference, with A. So, force C, A yan. Si object B at C naman, tignan nyo to, parehas, uh, I mean negative to, ito ay positive. So, at opposite attracts. Si C, ma-attract kay B. So, yung direction ng force ay papunta kay B pa ganyan. So, this is the force C, B. Okay, force C, B. So, compute natin muna sa force C, A. Force C, A tayo using the Coulomb's formula. Force C, A equals Coulomb's constant, 8.988 times 10, raised to positive 9. Then, open and close parentheses. Si object ko natin, si point of reference na lang, negative 5. Nanocoulomb nano yan, so times 10 raised to negative 9. Times si, papartner natin kay si A tayo, diba? So, kay A, negative 6. Pico Coulomb times 10 raised to negative 12. 
all over si distance naman. Okay, tignan nyo to. Distance ni C kay A. Distance ni C kay A. Kung may 1 meter dito, may 2 meters dito, so yung layo nilang dalawa ay 3 meters in total. So, lagay tayo dito, 3 squared. Yan yung layo ni C at A. Kasi C at A ang kinukubit natin. Equals, kumpit tayo sa formula, ay sa calculator. So, lagay sa calculator to, 8.988 times 10 raised to positive 9 move tayo, times negative 5. Pag ganito yung calculate nyo, dire-direction lang kaya ito ng parenthesis. Okay lang yun. Pero okay lang din kahit lalagyan ninyo. Negative 5 times 10 raised to negative 9. Baba. Times negative 6 times 10 raised to negative 12. Kasi piko yan. I mean, oh, tama, pico, kaya negative 12. Then divided by 3 raised to 2. 3, close parenthesis, raised to 2. Then equal sign lang natin, the answer with 2.996. 9.96 times 10. And then raised to negative 11. That is Newton. So, that is the answer for 4CA pa lang yan. Ngayon, tignan natin yung sign. After makuha yung value, tignan natin yung sign. Since positive yan, I mean positive yung naging sagot, pero it's a check natin dun sa illustration. Si point CA, eto, yung point CA na yan, ay pointing to the right. Okay? It's pointing to the right, so the, uh, the sign must be positive. And since naka-positive na yan, so final answer na to. For the, po, for the force of CA. Next, kumpin natin si force CB naman tayo. Force CB. So dito natin lagay. Pagka natin kulay. Force CB equals... 8.988 times 10 raised to 9. Open and close parenthesis. Yung Q1 natin, so point C, I mean CBN, di ba? So kahit unay natin si C, okay lang. Pares naman. Negative 5 ulit times 10 raised to 9. Then yung B is 4. Then the distance of Z I mean, of C from B, ito, is 1 meter. So, 1 squared. Actually, okay lang yan. 1 lang din naman yan. So, compute natin ulit. Calculator. 8.988 ulit times 10 raised to 9. Move times negative 5. Times 10 raised to 9. Okay, negative 9 pala ito dapat kasi P ko yan. That is negative plus saan pagawin ko lang. Ito, negative 9 din ito. Ayun, tama naman dito. Ulit, ang, ang nano ay negative 9. Eh. So, inure ko lang. Balita dito. Oops, nawala. Ulitin natin, negative 8.988 times 10 raised to 9, move tayo, times negative 5, times 10 raised to negative 9 this time, negative 9, then move, times 4 divided by 1 squared is, lagyan natin, 1 squared, equals, ito rin yung naging sagot kanina, class, actually. Sa unang example, negative 
negative 179.76 newton. Ngayon, i-check natin yung sign. Naka-negative siya dito, pero yan pa dapat talaga ang sign niya. So, i-check natin si point si 4CB. Ang 4CB ay ito, pointing to the left. So, the sign must be negative. Since naka-negative na, we don't need to change. Pero kung positive yan, at to the left siya dito, dapat gawin natin negative. Papalta yung sign. Pero since negative na, no need to change. So, we got already the two forces. We have to get now the net force. So, to get the net force, net force, we just have to add the two forces that we got. So, F net equals... Um, 4CA plus 4CB equals, change the value, 2.996 times 10 raised to negative 11, open and close parentheses, then plus, kasi net force yan, negative 179.76. Okay, equals, calculator lang tayo. Two point nine nine six times ten raised to negative eleven plus parenthesis and that negative one seven nine point seventy six close parenthesis that is equal to Negative 179.76. 79.76. So, Newton pa rin ang unit neto. So, that would be considered the net force that point C fills with B and A. So, that is how you get the net electric force of three charges. Thank you.